In this video, we will explain how registers will exchange or transfer data between them uh, in the case of inter-register transfer. So, uh, bus transfer. A common bus system can be constructed with the multiplexers and decoders. Multiplexers select one source register for the bus. The decoder selects one destination register to transfer the information from the bus. So, uh, we can consider a bus system for four registers. We have register A, B, C and D. Assume that all the registers are uh, n bit wide and we are just representing these bits a1, a2 up to an, b1, b2, b3 up to bn like that c1, cn, d1 and dn. Then how these registers can exchange or transfer their data? Okay. Okay. Uh, here uh, to select a source register, we have to use multiplexer. So, corresponding to each bit position, there will be a multiplexer. In, uh, in our case, the register size is n bits, so we have to use n multiplexers. And how these uh, multiplexers are used for uh, selecting a source register? Then, uh, let us consider this multiplexer, first multiplexer. The uh, first bit of register A is connected with this zero input and first bit of register B is connected with this one line and first bit of C with the two, first bit of D1 with the, or first bit of the D or D1 with the three. So, based on this select line, uh, any one of the bits will be selected and that will be available through the output line. Similarly, uh, for the second mux, the A2 will be connected, B2 will be connected here, then C2 will be connected here and uh, C3, sorry, uh, C2 will be connected here, then D2 will be connected in the fourth line or the third line here. Uh, similarly, uh, uh, the nth bit will be connected with the last marks. Length bit of the, all the registers will be connected with the last marks. So, uh, and uh, we, we have another decoder, destination decoder that is used to select a destination register. In the case of a decoder, uh, we will have two select lines and one enable line and a set of output lines. Then uh, if we enable this decoder, then uh, based on the select line, any one of the output li lines will become activated. That is about the destination decoder. Okay. Then uh, this A1, B1, C1, D1, they are connected with these inputs to the first max. Then all, all the uh, assume that we have a number of multiplexes, n multiplexes here. We, we have just shown only first one and the last one. So the nth bit nth bits from all these registers are connected to this multiplexer. That is a n is connected with the zeroth input, a b n with the, uh, this first one, then c n with the second one, d n with the third one. That's about the connection. How the uh, source register, uh, the output of the registers are connected to MUX and uh, the output of the MUX will be taken as a shared bus. Okay. These are O1, O2, O3 up to ON. Then, uh, okay, uh, and this output line will be connected with the input of every registers. So, the O1 will be connected with the uh, input to register A, B, C and D. Similarly, uh, O2 will be connected like this and uh, up to ON. So, ON will be connected like this, connected to the all the uh, register inputs. 
but the uh, values will be captured into the registers based on the load input corresponding to each register there will be a load input based on the value on the load input uh, the content of the inputs will be input uh, lines will be captured into registers okay that's about the load and the uh, inputs to the registers then uh, we can use our destination decoder to select any one of the destination register by activating the corresponding load input this load inputs of the registers are connected with the uh, outputs of the destination decoder okay so based on the select line value any one of the registers will be selected or the load input to that register will be activated and that register will capture the data present on the uh, this bus output bus of the max then which register to be selected is based on the select line based on the value given to the select line any one of the register will be selected and that uh, register content will be available through the output bus so that's about the how the registers will uh, exchange or uh, transfer data between them Now we can consider uh, an inter register transfer example C is equal to A. This is one uh, register transfer logic representation for register transfer. In the register transfer. The control function that enables this transfer must select register A for the bus as the source and register C for the destination. Okay. So uh, to select register A, what we have, we, we have to give here is 0, 0. If we give 0, 0, then register A will be selected and that uh, content of register A will be available through the uh, output bus of the max O1, O2 up to ON and that will reach into the input of all the registers. But we have to capture that uh, value or load that value only into register C. So for that purpose, we can use the destination decoder. So we can issue to select C, uh, C is connected the load input of the C is connected with this 2. So we have to give a 1 0 here. Then this line will be uh, activated and that will give into that that will receive as a load input to the register C Then the input uh, the data on the input uh, lines will be captured into register C. Then this enable input is for enabling this decoder then only this uh, this will be uh, output lines will be activated or not according to the select lines and in some cases enable line will be active low so we have to use a bubble here in that case whenever the zero is given the in the enable line then this uh, destination decoder will be enabled in this case uh, there is no bubble so uh, whenever we will give a one then this uh, destination decoder will become active. So uh, in this case max select is equal to 0 0 decoder select we have to give 1 0 and decoder enable we have to set as 1. Then uh, if you are uh, in, in our example we, there is only 4 registers but in actual case there will be a number of registers and that case the uh, this type of design will become very complicated so three we can use the three state buff bus buffers a bus system can be constructed with the three state bus uh, three state buffer gates instead of multiplexes a three state buffer is a digital circuit that exhibits three states logic zero logic one and a high imbalance state so this is the uh, diagram corresponding to a three state buffer then this is the input and uh, this is the output then control input c okay uh, so if c is equal to 1 then a and b will become connected and if c is equal to 0 then this will become an open circuit this is the block diagram corresponding to a bus system made up of three state uh, buffer gates then uh, here uh, this is the uh, output line 1 
shared output line 1 and the four registers in our example register A, B, C and D they are connected to the output line 1 through through this uh, three state buffer gates so the first bit of all the registers are connected here that is A1 is the first bit of A register and B1 is the first bit of B register C1 is the first bit of C register and D1 is the first bit of D register ok they are connected to the input of this uh, three state buffer gates then the control gate of all the buffer gates this control gate for this one is connected to here then uh, the ok these are connected with a decoder output so decoder output 0 is connected with this gate uh, decoder output 1 is connected with this gate and uh, 2 3 then uh, based on the select select line input the corresponding uh, three state bus buff, uh, three state buffer gate will be activated uh, and input will and that will become a connected one and input will become uh, available to the through output and that will reach into our shared bus line ok so uh, for example if you are giving uh, a 1 0 here 1 0 then this line will become the decoder line 2 will become active and that will reach into the control input of this buffer gate this gate 3 state buffer uh, 3 state gate and uh, this will become connected and the uh, C1 will reach into output and that will be available through the output line all other buffer gates all other 3 state gates will become uh, will goes into high impedance state and there is, there is no path between input and uh, output Similarly, uh, corresponding to output line 2, we can have another uh, set of uh, tri-state buffer mm? and uh, corresponding to uh, output line O3, we can have another set like that. So, this will form a shared bus, shared output bus like this. And this will replace the MUX1 in the previous diagram. That, uh, that is using multiplexer for implementing bus system ok this is about the how to use three state buffer gates for implementing a shared bus system ok